Ulkuni eh, Emva Guano Lulos or Lom Kulunga Penduganga, I am Bella Kagabu Ulkun. So, if you are still hard after this song that you've heard, haven't repented, then really you are hard. Eh, Kubega Lare Pambili, Utige Sizo Kubega Ganjani, I am Tetelenang Umzu, Lugaba Bumfundisi. So to carry on now, we'll leave it over to Reverend Stegan's grandchild, Ria, and they'll tell us how to how, what's carrying on with. Let me just say that it's not good that you come from where you are and come down out to the doors right around the frontier. We're not at a fashion show, we're at a service. So if you have a need to leave the service, then rather go out through the back. So especially the girls, please go out through the back. Don't disturb the service by coming out the front. We'll leave it over now to the grandchildren to tell us what's going on. Good evening, everybody. So this afternoon in the service, we heard some testimonies of older people. But tonight, we want to share with you the testimony of a little boy. And this little boy lived with us until he was 11 years old when the Lord took him home. He lived before us and everything we'll share is what we saw with our own eyes. So Mika, the boy we'll be speaking about, was our cousin. Now he never watched the film that we watched yesterday evening in the service. But you will notice as we speak that the Lord reveals the same secrets to his children. To people who seek him with all their heart. So Caleb, Mika's older brother, he 
he will share a little bit about Mika's life with us. Thank you. Thank you. We are mainly all young people here, and maybe we often think that death is something that only old people face. That's why we don't take seriously the choice of walking on the broad or narrow way because eternity seems so far away, but it isn't. We buried my little 11 year old brother six months ago, and his name was Mika. Mika and I were extremely close, and we did everything together. We always slept, woke up, went to school and played together. We also loved fishing and hunting together. We had lots of fun together. He was someone who had lots of energy and he used it to be a wild little boy in the first six years of his life. He used to get himself into lots of trouble when Mika was six years old. One day, Dr. Peter Hammond took a service which touched Mika's heart. After that service, Mika's dream was to become a missionary and his life changed amazingly. That was the day he chose to walk on the narrow road. When Mika was nine years old, he was diagnosed with a malignant brain tumor. After having, I think, six operations and treatment, it seemed like his cancer was gone, and the doctors were very hopeful that he was healed. Not long afterwards, he had an MRI which showed that his cancer was back and that it had spread. The doctors then told my parents that there was no hope of Mika surviving. When my parents and Mika came back from the hospital, he ran into my room. And then he hugged me and said with a big, big smile on his face, Caleb, I'm going to heaven. First, I didn't understand, but after my parents explained it, I couldn't believe that he had joy after hearing such terrible news. 
Manje angzange ngimkolo ngesikati esho loko. Godwa emva ukuba bazali sebe nkaze lile uguti gwenza galeni. Angzange ngkondu uguti angachabula emva ukuba ezu indaba ezi pshunganji. I then realized that this joy was the fruit of giving your heart to the Lord and keeping your heart clean. Ngabe se ngkondu uguti lenjabulo ikamuga entli zweni e pupumayo entli zio e nigelwe gokpeleleyo enkosi. His joy never left him, even though from that day on he always got sicker. Injabulo ya kaizangi mshiye, noma ube zula ibunzimeni gotwa injabulo ibilogi hambana. He gradually lost the use of his legs, his arms, and then, finally, he lost the use of his whole body and could only move his head. He was always so, so thankful and always found something to be thankful for. The more he lost, the more fat, thankful he became. I learned so much from Mika's life, and it's really touched me that I'd never thought of it that my little brother could be an example to me. I learned a lot of things to do things with a happy heart, even though it's tough, but most of all to be thankful. Gafunda ukulu ubonga no wenzizi ntongenja bulo, no ma izi muzilkuni, no ma gunzima, kotwa njalo, gibe no bonga. But we can only be thankful and always be happy if our heart is clean and we live a life pleasing to the Lord. Thank you. Now, Mika had a cousin who he was very close to. They were like twins. They were the same age. And three weeks before Mika died, he called his cousin Ella. And he spoke to her for a long time. And we'd like to share with you just a few treasures of what he shared with her that day. They have been words that we've looked at again and again, and there's always something new that we learn from it. Thank you. I'm still, I'm 
for and if the Lord takes me then I'm going to heaven. <laughs> In Kulumoya Kege Hunshi will anges his zoo. Would he Antingu Kacha Zega, Umangi Lulem Sabin, Gizoya in Dawen and Onoga Kul Gunale, Ezuluin, and Gag and Gibbon is in Tungu, no manani. Ezulu Ezuluin, Agu Agunzi, my local gimme, Gumelinje, Gibbe, Gibbega Gonke, a altar. Thing will be much and so was Uxabin, this is Zandla Zamin is in Yao. Go to a local Agunanda Bangoba. Gibunige, Legon, Kinkosin, Gon, Kegus, Zandlin Zak. Manjin Giachabul and Goba. Gisaguazi, Uguni born. Gisaguaz, Ukulum, Uguho Kela, Nognam Beta. And it didn't go catch a zega. Mean and Giachogoza. Goba Uma inkos in Tata. Gizoya ezuluin la poyonke into izobe i in tlega kulu o good lulala. My words, it's his will that I get sick. If it wasn't the Lord, well I wouldn't be sick. Only the Lord's will happens. We must accept it and we must put everything on the altar. If he wants if he didn't want to take my legs, I could have still been walking and running, but he wanted to. So he took them. Minangi achogoza ngoba uma inkosi ngchacha ngizoya izuluini la poyonke into izobe iintle kakulu ogudlula la angege ngibe nezi ntlungu kona. Futi ngizobe sengi kwa zingisho no kichima ngenza yonke into ebe nginga kwa zugienza no gunye futi oguningi kuna loku engwazi ugugwenza la. Guguba ngoba kuintando kankulu nkulu guti ngikule Yena ungibonile wabona uguti gifuna gifuna lo uguti eze ezuluini gizogwenza gizogwenza lo kongoba kuintando ya. You must just leave it in his hands and be glad with what he does. Then everything will go the way he wants to and everything will go right. Don't need to be a little bit sad. Everything just Goes well. We intend ya kuguchingi kule. Uma benging begunge yona intando benginge gengi kule. Kwenze kwenzega kupela loku ogu intando yenko si futi gumele si guamugel si bege gonge altar. Uma ubenga tandi. Umu benga tandi ugu tata imilenze yami ngabengia. Kubega ngia hamba futi ngia kichim. Kotoa yana kube intando ya ke futi gumele sigu shiele gonke zandlenza ke si sigu chogo zele loko agwenza kona yonke into izogwenze gengendlela atanda ngayo futi kuhambe gash. Stop anything and he's helped me. Yeah. Could have died and then he did something. He's done lots of he's done lots of miracles already. Sometimes I felt so sick. And I said, Lord, please help me and then he helped me feel better. As it ting uk tabu gang show nagang man. Go bag on keguzu hambagas. And git ting we sabalutu. Futiena ungisizile. Lapo bengi. Benginga Zula Corner, M. Sabin, Wangi Legele, Zeningi is a manga, as a Zenzil. The last few days I was so sick, and I prayed, Lord, please help me. Once I prayed that, that, that the Lord helps me, and if He does, I'll praise Him. I said, Lord, please help me like that time. And then He helped me, and now I'm feeling better. 
Kwezi nisikati bengizu wangi kula kakulu. Gitanda ze ngiti nko singi atela unsize. Angi size uguti ngizizwe singi ngon. Now I must praise him. We mustn't, we mustn't carry on with it. We must always thank the Lord for everything He has done and given to you. Because He does so much. You must count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. You must. Ezi nsugui ne zimbalo eze tlu lebe ngi kula kakulu ngi tanda ze ngi tinko si ngi akela unsizi. Golu nyusugu nga akela ugu tinko si ingi sizi nga ti uma inga unsiza ngi zomtumisa. Nga tanda za ugu ti unsize futi ngendlela efanayo. Nange mpela wa unsiza manje gizizwa se ngi ngono. Manje gumele ngi mtu. Gimtumise, kumele ngi ibongi nkosi nga kogonke e gwenzayo. Ngoguba guningi e gwenzayo kumele sibale izbusiso. Nga sibale izbusiso, nga zinye nga zinye. Uguze ubone loko unkulunkulu a gwenzayo. It's everything on the altar yourself. I'm not the only one who needs to, every single person needs to do it. Lots of things can happen to you that are difficult. Maybe if someone, if I'm your friend and I go to heaven and you sad, you must give it to the Lord. Put everything on the altar. Then he will give you joy. Nani gumele ni bege gonke altare. Agumina ngetwa engitinga ugwenza loko. Wonku muntu gumele agwenza loko. Ziningi zinto, ezin zima, ezin genzega kini. Mthampe ngoba gingum gani win. Uma inkos ingitata ngia ezulwin. Loko gwenze, gwenze nitabuk. Kunigeze kunkulunkulu. Nibege konke altar. Yena uzo niniga intogozo. Lapo nizo wazi ugutogoza ningabe nisatabuka. Then you can be glad, then you don't need to be sad anymore. I was, I was really, I was scared as well. But I put everything on the altar. And now I can't do anything, I can only move my head. I can't move anything. But I'm so happy because I've put everything on the altar. Na mi bengisaba gotwa. Ngabega gongi altar manje, angsa gwazi gwenza luto. Gigwazi nje ugunyaga zisa ikanda. Angigwazi ugunyaga zisa luto, koto angia chabula. Ngoba ngibege gongi altar. No manginga sa gwazi ugwenza luto, koto angisa, gise nayo intogozo. Gisa gwazi ukela umama no baba. Uguti bangifu. Bang fundeli pai peli, futi ngisa, futi ngisa guazi ugula lela inkonzo. No, I can't do anything. I still have joy. I can still ask my mom and my dad and others. I can ask others to read the Bible to me. I can still listen to the service. I can still hear and see. I can still talk. I can still smell and taste. <laughs> so I can still taste delicious food, that's good. And I can still think properly and everything. So the Lord. Gisagwazu Kuluma, no go into. Ea ziyo guti ngisai tinga. Itati le futi yonke into ea ziyo guti. Angisai tingi. Yangi nika gonke ea ziyo guti ngia gutinga. Uu masibega gonke altar. Inkosi izo tata loko. Ea ziyo guti ia gutinga. Ugu gutata. 
bese igunigeza gonke ugutingayo. Hasn't the Lord given me the things he knows that I still need? He's taken everything which he knows that, that I mustn't, that I don't need anymore. And he's given me what he knows I still need. If you put everything on the altar, he'll just take what he knows he needs to. And he'll give you everything you still need. He knows if it's too hard for you. The Lord said in the Bible, he won't give you more than you can be. You know what that means? He won't take your eyes. If he won't take my eyes, he won't make me blind that I can't see because I'm sick if he knows that I that it's too hard for me. But if he looks and he says, Oh, Mika won't be so sad. He'll give it to me if I make him blind. Then he can make me blind that I, that I can see him more. That I can see his glory more. Futi yona iyazu kunzi magakul guen. Inkosi iyasho e paipeli nuguti angege igunige ogunga pezu wa mandla ako. Niyazu uguti kutkaza niloko. Kusho uguti angege atate ameslo ami. Ginga bengi sagwazu kubona uma ebonu uguti loko guzo banzi magakul. Kodwa uma ebona ukuthi umika angeke akhathazeke kakhulu uzokunikela kimina uma ngimenza angaboni uzokwenza lokho ukuthi ngingabe ngisabona ukuze ngizobona yena kangcono futhi ngibone nenkazimulo yakhe ebese ngisondela kakhulu kuye ngingene embusweni wakhe and then I can come closer to him, that I enter his kingdom. Because the worst is, if judgment day comes, or if the Lord fetches you and you're not ready, then he'll tell his angels, bind his hands and feet and cast him into hell. But if, you, if you're his servant, if you only live for him, he'll say, my good and faithful servant, You've always lived for me. You've always done my work. Ogu buka kulu guti uu magu figa Noma inkos ifiga igu land. Igu fikre unga lungele la poge. Iyo chela izingelo sizake uguti mubopeni zandla nezinyawu. Nimponte esu hokwe. Kotwa uuma ui ngegu. Upilela yena kupel uzo chingegu entle netembe gileyo ubuhle kanjalo upilela mina wenza intando yam iza nami siye ezului. Come with me into heaven and you'll go to heaven and we'll wait for everyone else who isn't yet there to come. So we must put everything on the altar because it would be very dreadful if we can't go to heaven, won't it? If we don't go to he- if we don't go to heaven and we go to hell, if we don't live for the Lord now, but you must always do what's right and you must put yourself the lowest. That was a problem with me. Nizoya ezuluini nilinde bonke abani abanga kange nikona ngako gumele sibege gonke ialtar. Ngo ba guzo ba gubi ga kulu uma singa gwenzanga, singa gwazanga ugungena ezulwin. Siye eshokwin, uma singa ipile langa inkos. Kumele njalo senze loko oglungi le futi. Sizi bege egu trineni sibe abanyunyan. I didn't put myself the lowest. I was a peacock. You always want the best of everything. You always want to be the smartest. You always want to be the fastest. You always want to have the best friends. We must always live for the Lord and burn for him. And then we'll bring other people to the Lord. If you live for the Lord, you like a shining lamp to him. You like a shining lamp to everyone else. Because you... Yi loko ebe, ebe, ebe gui inga yami. Benginga 
Benginga zibeki ile Ekutine Bengine pikoko Gifuna ogule Kuyo yonke into Gifuna gube imina Engi saga nipile Noma Engine Engine chubane lkulu Nabangani abase Kuna bobonke Kumele njalo sipilele inkusi Sivutele yona Lapoge Sizogwazi uguzuzela abani abantu enkosini. Live for him and the others can see. He's living for the Lord. There's a difference in him. But because you've made your life right and you've given everything to the Lord and you can be happy in the Lord now, don't need to be scared of anything. Because if Mika dies now, I'll see him soon. I'll see him in heaven again. If he goes to heaven now, and if I go to heaven one day, then we'll see each other again. Won't be long, hopefully. We must. Oh, masi si pilela inkosi si zoba njenge 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 lambel vucha. Ku si zoba njenge lambel vucha yogo yo. Si kanyi sele abani ngoguba uma upilela inkosi futi na abani ba yobo na uguti lo. Kupilela inkosi. Kune mwetlugo kuye. Ngoba ulungisile impilo yake. Wanigela gonke inkosini. Auti ingu kusabalu uchu. Ngoguba uma. Umika elula imtabe ni manje. Uyazu uguti. Uyazu uguti ngizo mbona ezuluini. Futi uma nami ngia ezuluini. Angege gube isikate siti kakuru. Ngia temba, sonke kumele sipile, sipile impilo esi isa ezului. Si hambe ngenlela engu mgringo, epege ezului. Singa hambe ngele nebanzi, epega eshokwe. Kotwa ingela engu mgringo, ea ezului. Both live the way, live the life that takes us. Must both walk the narrow route, walk the narrow way to heaven, not the broad way to hell, not the wide path to hell, but the narrow path to heaven. The path to heaven is very hard. Maybe there's going to be a place where there's a fence that's only 50 centimeters high. Do you know how high that is? Or even lower than that, a bit lower. Yeah, like that. And it's thorns and you need to get under there without touching it. Because otherwise you die. You need to bow yourself. You need to put yourself lower than everyone else. You need to give them first what they want. In the la ea ezuluin, ae kolula, mklampe kukona indao eno tingo ulfushan, luna meva. Egu tinga kukushe nga pants gwalu. Kotwa unga luti, kotwa unga luti inti ngoba uma uluti inta uzogufa. Kutingega utobe, uzibege pants guna bobonke abandu. Ubanike kukala loko abakufunayo wena utatika kui. You must take loss. You must be the least in everything. And if you can't go under there, then, then you go to hell. So you must bow yourself, you must go on your stomach and on your knees and on your face. And you must go under there. You must live for the Lord only. And if one horrible word comes out of your mouth, you must make it right quickly. And you must, you must try not to say it again. Kumele... And... <laughs> Kumele uzi chobe, uze ula lengesisu, nanga mato longisho, nango buso. Kumele utuushe lapo, upilele inkosi gupele. Uma nje kupuma noma ikama eli lotwa eli nga lungile. Kulungisi, loko ngo gushesha. Uzame futi uguti ungabe usagusho, ufunde ipaipele zonke zintugu. You read the Bible every day. You must read the Bible 
every morning and every night. Bible is strength. The Bible is your food for every day. You read the Bible every morning and every day. It can make a big difference. And then you read the Bible in the morning and you think of what you've read all day. Think, what did I read? That, you must let it speak to you. And at night, if you can't read, you can also, if you can't sleep, you can also read the Bible. And even if you can sleep, you must always read the Bible before you go to bed. And when you wake up, you can read the Bible and let it encourage you. It helps so much to read the Bible. I can say that because I've experienced it myself. It helps us when we read the Bible. You must not complain. So you must try be kind as you can to everyone. Uma ulifunda ipaipel njalo ekseni nsugu zonke. Kungenza umetlugo mkulu. Uma ulifundile ekseni. Ebese uktabanga. Nga loko ukfundile usugu lonke. Uguvumele. Uguvumele. Uguvumele kukulumisane nawe. Nasebu sugu uma unga kwa zuglala ulifundi. Gisho noma unobutongo gumele njalo ulifunde ipaipeli nga pamgo guti ulale. You must always visit people. You must visit people who might help you. You can visit Gopapa often. Every day you visit Gopapa and you ask him to pray for you that you can spiritually come closer to the Lord and that you can live like the Lord and the forum helps your people pray for you. Olivu mele ligu 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 kutaze kuya kuya siza kakulu ukufunda ipaipe kinga kusho loko ngoba nami kungi sizile kakulu kungi sizile Kakulu ukufunda ipaipeli. Agumele sikonone. Gumele uzame. Uguba no musa. Kuo wonku mtu njalo. Uvagashele abantu abanga gwazi. Ugugu. Ugugu siza. Uvagashele umkulu njalo. Njalo nje zonke zintugu. Uvagashele umkulu umtele uguti. Aktandazele uguze uguazu kusondelana nengosi. Empilwe niyako yogomoe. Because then they ask the Lord to help you. And if the, the Lord answers their prayers, then he'll help you. So it's, you can just always be glad for everything the Lord has done. See? Don't need to be scared of anything. Don't need to be scared of anything. Du -du -du -dum 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 -dum. Uguze uguazu pila njenga ayo inkosi futi upile leona uya, uya, uya siza uma abantu begu kulegela ngoba. Bona baya kela uguti inkosi kusize uma inkosi ipendula umtandazo wabo izo kusiza ngako kumele njalo sichogo zele yonke into inkosi eyenzayo. It says, don't worry about anything instead. Don't worry about any. You don't need to worry about anything. But instead, you must pray about everything. Tell the Lord about everything. All your worries, you can tell the Lord everything. Pray about everything. Tell God what you need. You need strength to help you. Anything, whatever you need. Tell him, tell God what you need. I needed strength because I was lame. I couldn't walk, I was lame, and I couldn't use my arms. Do you see? Like I showed you, and I gave it to the Lord. I told him, Lord, I need you. And he helped me. We are born as ding with Sabalutu. Ninga Katazeginga Lutu. Kuna loko kulegani ngayo yonke into. 
Chelani inkosi ngayo yonke into, gonke ogukukatazayo, ungakchela inkosi ngako, kulege ngako, ngayo yonke into, uichele inkosi ukuthi utingani. Uma utinga mandla, ukuthi inkosi igusize, konke ogutingayo, mchele unkulunkulu ukuthi utingani. And thank him for all he has done. Now he's helped me. See, I'm happy. Thank him for all he has done. Now I must thank him. If I don't thank him, he will then I'll then it's bad. You have to thank the Lord for everything he's done for you. Mina beng tinga man langoba benging benginga gwazi. Mina beng tinga man langoba benginga gwazi ugunyagazi sa izandla zam. Lo konga guchela inko singati inko si giagutinga yona yang siza. Futi liti izwi simbonge nga kogonke agwenzile. Manje usengi sizile gichabule nga ko segumele ngi mbonge. Uma ginga mbongi loko gubi kumele uibongi kusi nga kogonke gwenzele kon. Ihubo 46 verse 1. Ihubo eli lega kulu liti. Uche ova wis pepe lo seitu na mandla eitu njalo. Uma uya enkosin izo gniga gongo kutingayo. Yona is pepe lo sako inga mandla ako. Uma uya empin aguko onga gwe saba utinga inkos. This is a very nice one. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and our strength. You always go to God. He'll give you what you need. He's your refuge and your strength. He's your power. If you go to war, you can't do anything. You need the Lord. Always, God is your refuge and your strength. God is our refuge and strength. ready to help in times of trouble and you said Mika's going to die now and I'm so sad I don't want him to and you said give it to the Lord God is your refuge and your strength he'll give you the strength you need he is your strength if you live for him he is your strength Njalo unkulunkulu is pepelo na mandla ako. Njalo ulungele uguksiza ekslupegi. No mangabe mthambe utabugile. No mthambe utabugile ugutu mika uzo lule mthambe. Loko kugwenze utabuge. Loko kugwenze ugubu utabuge gunigele kukulunkulu. Yena u is pepelo na mandla ako. Uzo kuniga mandla o watinga. Yena unga mandla ako. Uma umpile la yena unga mandla ako. You don't need anything else but his strength and his glory. Always ready to help you in times of trouble. Whenever you're in trouble, he will help you then. If you call to him, God is our refuge and our strength always ready to help us in times of trouble he will always help you in times of trouble au dingi lutho lunye ngaphandle kwamandla akhe nenkazimulo yakhe ulungele uku ukukuleke ulungele ukukulekelela njalo uma usekuhluphekile noma nini Uma usenkingini uzo kusiza. Uma umemeza unkulunkulu. Uyis pepe lo seitu na mandla eitu. Uthele lungele ukusiza. Eskatini sobunzima. Njalo uzo kusiza. Eskatini sobunzima. You are so, so lucky. 
Uncle Papa has done so much for us. Without Uncle Papa, everything would have just been destroyed. Everything would have been... We, the mission wouldn't have existed. And without your mom and dad and all our aunts and uncles who've lived for the Lord and Kulu and Koko, who've held the mission together, it's not an easy job. Your papa's gone through lots of suffering. If you live for the Lord, you must take your cross up every day. And your papa's carried his cross every day from that day long ago. He's carried his cross every day. Chinas nentlant la inkulu ga kul. Um kul gu ningi asenzele kon. Gapan le wake. Umkulu yonke into ibizogo nagala. Imishini ibingege ibe kona. Gapandle kwaba zali betu abapilela unkulunkulu. No kulu no koko. Abasebenze daonye ugulegelela imishi. Aguyona into elula umkulu adlule. Umkulu udlule ekhluphekeni okuningi uma uphilela inkosi kumele uthwale isiphambano sakho uthwale isiphambano sakho nsuku zonke umkhulu yena uthwala isiphambano sakhe nsuku zonke kusukela kudala persevered forward and just lived for the lord and that's why the Lord blessed us. And he's given us so much. Look, other people don't have so much. Because they have it hard. They have a hard life. Where do they get their food from? That's why it's the best to have the Lord. Njalo uya pigelela. Ugu pilela unkulunkulu. Yinga kinkosis busisile. Kuningi esnige es kon. Abanya banta bana kogningi gangaga. Bapila em kukwini, bapila ganzima. Bagutolapi bagutol ugula kwabona. Yinga kogugule ugulandela inkos. Inkosi aibe iyanige. Yinga kogugule ugulandela inkos. Inkosi ai 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 nige njale yinga ako gugule kakulu uglandela inkus the Lord doesn't steal he gives it's the best to follow Jesus the best just to do what says well unkulunkulu njalo usela ugule njalo usitabangelo kwe ketelo now, before Dan and Arnold speak um, and share something in relation to the video we watched yesterday, and what Mika spoke about. I'm just going to ask Ella to quickly come, just that you can see who she is and who it was that Mika spoke to. Kushuti banga kakulumi abazala ababili baga Mika. Siafisu kutu ele lo aye kuluma na ye. Nimbo nukuti nangu lo wakulunwa aye kuluma na ye umika. So this is Ella, and she was very close to Mika. And the Lord chose her for Mika to share all these treasures with. So Arno and Dan will share something now. My name is Dan Bosman and I'm one of Mika's cousins. Kamalam Dan Bosman, Gingomunio Mzala, Bagamik. 
and I had the privilege of seeing the Lord working in Mika's life and really using him. There are just two points that I'd like to share that I saw clearly in Mika's life and that we heard on the recording we just heard. And if you're watching closely, you would have also seen this in the video that we saw yesterday evening. The first point is crawling under a fence. We heard Mika speak about this. And there was also an illustration in Anton Kolu's dream where she had to crawl under a fence. And we'll ask that I just play a clip, that short part of where that crawl under, just to refresh our memories. I'm 
What does it mean to actually go under a really low fence? We heard Mika say that he always wanted to be the best or the fastest or the cleverest. But as soon as the Lord started working in his life, he took that pride away. And we didn't see that in his life anymore. It can also mean sacrificing our feelings or our plans. And this is something we saw in Mika's life, especially at the end. I remember visiting Mika and it was, I think, a few weeks before he died. And he was speaking and he was friendly, he was smiling and one couldn't really tell anything was wrong with him. And at that time, he'd lost all control of his arms and he was sick, he was vomiting a lot. But it was only afterwards when I spoke to his mom that I heard that he had been really sick that day and he wasn't feeling good. And but without speaking to his mom, I would have never realized that. Even though he was so sick, he sacrificed his feelings and how, he was, how it was going at that time to make it more pleasant for others. My cousin Arno will come up now to share or speak about the second point. Um, my name is Arno Kombrink and I'm also one of Mika's cousins. And I was one of the cousins that had the privilege to spend a lot of time with Mika after he got sick, helping with taking him to a hospital, bringing him back, looking after his brothers while his parents were not there, when his parents needed a break to be with Mika. And in all this time that I spent with Mika, I realized that the pain that he had because of the cancer was a reality. It was bad. No Mika, Gi Pauli Luguti in Tlunga Bed Lulaguzo, Beguiz in Tlungez in Zima, Gobuben in Tlungze Kent. But never did you see him pass on that pain or that discomfort onto the people around him. Gotta no Magane, Ubuzo Paul, Lugutu Tata Lizin Tlungu, Noma Unga Nete Zegiwake, Aglu Selego Munumut, Nomaglumuta Umvarache. You'd sit with him and see him in pain. Then someone would come in to visit him and the first thing that he'd do is smile at them. And 
And all this was the fruit of what Mikas fed himself with. And what Mika fed himself with was God's word, the Bible. In the film we saw last night, there was a scene where a man took a break, left his Bible on the floor, didn't mean much to him, and he left it there and forgot it, and afterwards he had to turn around and come back. And Mika crossed that secret that God's word is what gives him his strength. Speaking to Ella, there were numerous Bible verses that he actually quoted to her about carrying your cross. That was one of them. One of those verses that was Mika's favorite was in Philippians 4 verse 6. 4 verse 6. And Mika had a little box of Bible verses that even when he couldn't use his hands and eventually his eyes to read the Bible, he would ask his mom to read him from these verses. And and in Philippians 4 verse 6 it says, Don't worry about anything, instead pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for what He has done. And Mika memorized these verses and he tied them onto his heart. He engraved them in his heart, and that is where he got his strength from. And it is my prayer and our prayer as cousins that that hunger that Mika had for God's word and that secret that he grasped, that that is where he gets his strength from, that we will have that as well. Thank you very much. Even, even though Mika was only 11 years old, he taught each of us cousins so much. And and these things we'd like to remember and treasure for the rest of our lives. We'll now give three of the cousins a chance to shortly share what they learned from Mika. Well, 
What stood out the most for me in Mika's life is that he surrendered everything he had to God. He lay it all on the altar and held nothing back. Every body part and every breath he consecrated to God. And this is the reason why he had so much joy after, even after being paralyzed and not being able to move at all. Every part of his body which would not move and every part of his body which he couldn't feel, he gave to the Lord. Even his pain he gave to the Lord. And that is why he accepted what God did to him. And it was, to him it was only fair that God is doing what he was doing. He recognized that what he had and what he was was God's, not his own. Mika once called a few of us cousins together and shared an invaluable secret to us. He told us that once you surrender everything to God, even though you go through pain, you will experience amazing joy. If I see what God could do through my little cousin, I am inspired to lay all I have on the altar. Thank you. My name is Amy, and something that was of the utmost importance to Mika was to always keep his heart clean. Come again. Come again. My name is Amy, and something that was of the utmost importance to Mika was to always keep his heart clean. He couldn't go to bed at night if he knew that he had even one unconfessed sin. But it did not just end with confessing his sin. He always went back and apologized to those he had wronged. Once sin he once wrote down was I don't always do my best. We might think that this is such a small sin, and some of us might think that it's, it's not even a sin. But 
But Mika knew that something as small as not doing his best could keep him from going to heaven. One day he called my youngest sister and he spoke to her. And he said to her that if she sinned, she must immediately run and go and make it right. And then he said, if she doesn't do this, she won't see him in heaven one day. Mika also once said that the more, the more he cleans his heart and he makes his life right, the more his prayers are answered. Now myself and the rest of the cousins are witness to this. We saw and witnessed how Mika's prayers were answered because his heart was clean. Thank you. The situation Mika was in was, so to say, the worst possible situation. He could only move his head. He was taking pain medication every few hours and was constantly in pain. But nothing None of this did anything to Mika. He was still happy and had complete peace. Because he realized that we're just here for a short moment and then it's eternity. As we watched Mika on the last day, Going through all his pain, we saw the peace that he had within him. Even though he was going through pain, none of that would take away that the Lord had saved him. And in his last days, he was singing praises to the Lord, saying, Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you. Um, so all the cousins will now sing two songs, and the first song that we sing is the song Luke has just mentioned. Ushutige abazala baga mika bonge bana matula mabili abatandu gusule laona elokali kudoliti. So it's what Luke said, and the words of the song are, Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. And that was the thankfulness we saw in Mika every day. Thank you, Lord, for 
salvation so full and free. The one day Mika was in hospital, and he got chemotherapy. And one of the nurses came in and spoke to him. And she says she doesn't like God. He's done so, she's gone through so many difficult things in his, her life and she doesn't want anything to do with him. And when she walked out, his mother saw Mika sobbing and sobbing and sobbing. And she asked him, what's wrong? And he told her that this nurse says the, she's gone through so many bad things and she doesn't love the Lord Jesus anymore. And then he asked his mother, can I give her my Bible? And it was a very special Bible for Mika. And when the nurse came back in, 
His mom just saw him talking to the nurse but didn't hear what she, he said. Uyabonake umama kamikha umikha nomhlengikazi bayaxoxisana kodwa wayengezwe ukuthi bathini. And Mika took his Bible and he gave it to the nurse. And she just saw the nurse going out, tears streaming down her face. We don't know where she is, we don't know what happened to her. But the question is to each and every one of us here today that have heard about Mika's life. And have you accepted the Lord Jesus into your heart? Would Mika be crying because he sees your hard heart? Imagine what God does when he sees us hardening our hearts. May we be like him and that we accept the Lord Jesus into our hearts so that he can change us and that like him, we can go to heaven one day. Let's close our eyes. We can all testify that whenever we walked into Mika's room, we can all testify that he was never upset, ungrateful, down, or unhappy with what he was facing. He was always happy and thankful. We would walk into his room wanting to encourage him but we left having been encouraged by Mika. And I remember Mika was in agony, especially in the last days of his life. But one of, one of his last, wor last words were, I have so much to be thankful for. And at that time, the school that Mika went to here on the Mission, Domino Civite School, and the school was learning a song, and the words of the song were, I've got so much to thank him for. And this song was very special to Mika. So now we'll listen to the song and also see some pictures of Mika's life. Thank you.
my name is Janis. I'm also one of Miko's cousins. There was just something special Mika also taught me. Often in the afternoons when I'd go sit in his room with him, it would be very quiet in the room. <laughs> And somebody would come past, sometimes one of the little kids, and they'd be making a noise. And Miko would slowly open his eyes and say, Shh. And to me, it was just so clear that Miko had grasped a secret. He taught me how important it was to be quiet before the Lord. And he also taught me that if these noises are all in my heart, the Lord can never speak to me. Because God is a very quiet voice. And often when he tries to speak to us, if there's noise in our hearts, we'll never get to hear what he wants to tell us. Thank you. Um, on the night Mika passed away, something struck me in my heart. When I looked at him, he was in horrible pain. You could hear in his breathing that it wasn't normal. You could hear he was in terrible pain by his breathing, but his eyes and his face had a peace that just shone like light. Noma ubejulag lobopsu, pefumula wake, ubu paula naku guti, utabulin tunguin, got a metal ake. And the question that I ask myself is, when I am that close to death, what is my face going to look like? Will I have that peace that Mika had? Thank you. Say, Lapo um, We are thankful for everything we could hear. There's something that still needs to be said, and Antumkulu said it's necessary. You can be a hypocrite, you can deceive everybody, you can do it all your life. But the day you face death, all of that is over. What you were in life, when you meet death, that is what's going to come out about you. Uh, 
umnane, umdala, umshope, unsundu, wikalati, windia, umusu pegene nogufa, ukzenzisa, kuyopela kutinya. What, when Mika was in extreme pain and difficulty, that which was inside of his heart came to the front and blessed everybody around him. And whoever you are, whether you white or black, colored, Indian, whoever you are, doesn't matter who you are, the day you face death, that which you are is going to be visible to everybody. With all due respect, I'd like, I'd like to ask Mika's father and his brothers just to stand that we can and see the them. Sons. And the sons, sorry. We heard about his family, we heard about Mika, but we don't know who the father and the Mika's brothers are. This is the family which Jesus chose to show his glory through. And we thank Mika's father, his mother, his brothers that they supported him, gave him strength right up to the end. Thank you. Ek pete nige in konzo yetu ya namita nje psugu so tela u Mrs. Postman ukuba asvalele ngu mtandas. So to close off this evening's program we'll ask Mrs. Postman just to pray for us. Let's pray. Tela standas in. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for all we could have heard today. Lord, I ask you to be merciful to each and every one of us. Lord, you've given us the recipe how to get to heaven. Lord, please give each and every one of us soft hearts. Lord, if we don't make use of this opportunity, I don't know whether we'll have another one. And Lord, we ask as we go to sleep, Please be with us and carry on speaking to us. Amen. Amen. So those who can who sing, who lead the singing can come. Can everybody just sit down for a while? Sizo Sizo Bese emva kwa loko kuphuma osi siqala onjizo siqala ihlale zonke la indlini So what's going to happen is we'll sing a chorus the girls will go out first and the boys will stay right here Angazike noma lokho ngikushoyo umhlambe se kuyakhulumisa kodwa angi angibona ukuthi khona ingxoxo kule ento engishoyo I'm not sure if what I'm saying here is unclear to his people. 
ezinye zeinkomba ezinye zeinkomba lezi zokuthi okusuke kukhulunwa laphambili bakhona bakuzwayo bakhona futhi abangakuso so it's quite clear and it's evident there are those that have heard and there are those that haven't heard kodwa ke uma kukhona ko ngapha ngakosi sabafisayo ukusala belungisa indaba yabo nonkulunkulu hlala kodwa kuzophumosi siqala emva kwalokho ke sizobonja insizwa sikhipa nini ngoba sinomsindo so those girls who'd like to make their life right you can stay when the others leave but the boys you just sit right where you are you're making a noise ayikindlela <laughs> e